Cheers, everyone. Welcome back to a brand new video guys. I'm out here in the tinny and I got a bunch of stuff packed in the back. We got the swag, esky, camera gear, a bit of fishing gear. I'm gonna swim over to this island right here and see if I can find my first bit of food for the day. Gotta get the booties on to protect the feet from stonefish. They are blunt as hell. Got the trusty knife and my snorkel. And we're just gonna swim over to that sandbank and work our way up to the island. There's some light breaking through the clouds. That's our cue to get over there. Man, it's hard to swim with these shoes on. It is hard to swim with booties on. Now I'm gonna walk along it. We're gonna try and find something to spear or some oysters to collect. Gonna keep my eyes peeled. We are getting deeper and deeper. I'm just trying to make it up to the shallow bit because I can see a wave break. Ooh, I'm in mega stonefish territory right now. I'm gonna have to get down and in the water so I'm gonna be able to get even close to them. Maybe not. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Okay, fish right there. And now my spear snaps. I can't believe we managed to get a broom. He's definitely legal, but he wouldn't be by much. And I was just getting pushed against all those oysters. I got my leg pretty good. I'm not gonna risk it anymore. There's still so many out there, but one's probably enough for me. Oh. That island right there holds some of the largest tiger sharks ever recorded so yeah <laughs> so. It's about 29. There's a whole heap of bust ups with some birds, so I've just tied on a slug and I'm waiting for him to pop back up. Oh, not good. Yes. Come on. <laughs> Can't see anymore. Oh, the bus ups are over there, damn it. Oh, they're over there. <laughs> this is it. Yes. Yes. It's in. It's in. Oh, that was the closest I got. It is so hot. I need to swim before I cook this bad boy up. Woo. Oh. I found a nice shady spot under the tree here, and this is our setup. We got the butane gas stove ready to go. And right over here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale and then fill it the brim. I've got some panko bread crumbs, some flour to mix up in the plate, some oil. Don't have any egg because that's back in the boat and I'm keeping them for an emergency to eat. So I'll just do it without the egg, but it's really nice here. And we're gonna cook up this brim now, smash it down and then maybe head over to camp.
and I'm not actually gonna chuck this. It might come in handy tonight, so I'm gonna keep it. We can maybe use it for bait or to attract some things into spears. It's good. Oh, mm. delish. Shock. Oh, stingray. <laughs> I'm just gonna bring the boat in as far as I can. So the situation is, we got the tinny in as far as I could. It's pretty much going on dead low now. So where I want to put my swag, gonna be up there in the mangroves. I don't really want to carry all my gear back and forth. So the plan is, muck around for a few hours, and when the tide turns. We'll start to bring the boat in and then hopefully we can get the boat in far enough that I can just carry the stuff before sundown and set up. So I'm gonna go for a walk now and just uh, see where I'd like to put that swag. I've literally never seen so many of them before. They are everywhere. Yeah, I'm not really gonna be going hungry at all. There's just literally an unlimited supply of oysters here for me to eat. Woo! Hey. Woo! been a few hours guys I've just been sleeping in the boat and I pulled the boat in but look at the fins out here there's actual shark sharks not shovel nose sharks like I'm talking that's a proper shark so we're gonna see if we can maybe potentially catch it but probably just have a look at it oh there's a big one right here Watch out, mate. that is a very very tame stingray aren't you buddy okay sharks coming this one's real shallow we got a good chance of getting a look at him with the GoPro There it goes. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is sick. Let's just swim right. Let him go. That is a big shark. He's coming back. Woohoo. That is frigging epic. Chasing sharks on the on the flats. So good. Oh. Oh. We made it. Oh. Cheers, everyone. And I was waiting in the undertow. You wouldn't believe it if I told you. I literally just took off my drone and it did a front flip and just smashed down on the sand. This is my new drone. And now the gimbal's cooked. You can see the sand up inside it. I just wanted to get it up for a sunset flight. I thought they were birds. Oh, they're bats. Oh, look at them all. Okay, they're birds. I don't like bats. The sun is almost down. I'm going to pull the boat in again to bring it in as close as I can to shore. Oh man, I nearly just stepped on that stingray. The old tinny. She just does the job, doesn't she? Well, uh, I'm gonna have a super quick shower.
I've literally been a shark's wet dream this whole trip, haven't I? Now I'm having a bath on sunset after we filmed quite decent sized bull sharks in the shallow. It was literally shallower than I am right now. Alright, that's probably enough. Let's get the hell out of here. Big swag set up. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the net out just in case we find some crabs or squid or anything really. And we're going to go explore the mangroves now at night. I guess if we find something that I feel like cooking up, we'll keep it, which will pretty much just be squid. But if we don't find that, we'll just have a real cool explore. Let's go explore. So we have a little baby shovel nose shark here. These guys are really, oh, they're really easy to catch at night because they don't know what's going on when you shine a torch on them. So they're just babies up in the shallows trying to stay away from predators. Four huge stingrays feeding in the shallows. Hey buddy. Whoa. Bigger shovel nose shark. You can see but these bait fish are going crazy and they're like biting my legs. I don't know what they're, they must be cleaning my legs or something. This is a weird feeling. Man. Mm. So many bugs guys. Take a look at the size of this guy. We have a baby shovel nose right there. And another one just there. Look at the size of that guy. Whoa! Whoa! There's literally like 10 over there. Look at them all. I don't want to disturb them too much. I got one here. They're really small and their mouths are really funny and they're so cute, but I'm gonna let this guy go because I don't want to stress him out. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. They're just piling on top of each other. There's that many of them. Look at them all. What an epic day it's been. So I think tomorrow morning we'll just wake up, cook some brekkie and then sort of make our way back. Thanks for sticking around this long guys. I'll see you in the morning bright and early. As soon as that tide comes up, I'm getting out of here. The wind is just pumping through. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in the next one. Yo! And I was waiting in